in this session we want to prove that if the product of two non-zero square matrices a and b is zero matrix then a and b are singular matrices that means their determinants are zero so let's start our proof i will prove this for the case when a and b are two by two matrices but the same can be extended to square matrices of any size so let's take a equals to a11 a12 a21 a22 and b equals to b11 b12 b21 b22 now we are given that product of the matrices is zero that implies a into b should be a zero matrix so i will do that and let us multiply these two matrices so i get so this basically says that this term is equals to 0 this term also equals to 0 this term also equals to 0 and this term also equals to 0 so let's write this equals to 0 and this equals to 0 as a group and this equals to 0 and this equals to 0 as another group so here we have these two equations and these two equations and if i rewrite these in matrix form then this looks like so you note that the pre multiplying matrix is same in both the set of equations but the vectors are different so from these two we can conclude that if we have a homogeneous system of equations of the form a11 a12 a21 a22 into column vector consisting of x and y equals to 0 0 then this homogeneous system of equations has more than one non trivial solution and here we are saying non trivial because we are given that a and b are non zero matrices so in general b11 b21 b12 and b22 will not be equals to zero so this system of equations has more than one non trivial solution and that is only possible if the coefficient matrix is singular and the coefficient matrix is nothing but our matrix a so this implies that determinant of a is zero so determinant of a is 0 now so in this proof we started with the property that product of a and b was a zero matrix and we proved that determinant of a was zero in the same way if we know that product of a and b is zero matrix then if i take transpose on both sides this will prove that b transpose into a transpose will be a zero matrix and if i do same proof by taking b transpose as the coefficient matrix then i can conclude that determinant of b transpose will be zero and from that i can conclude that determinant of b will also be zero so here we have proved that if a b is zero where a and b are non zero matrices then this implies determinant of a is zero and determinant of b is zero